Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I wanted to do a quick video here uh, showing you how to properly install a coolant temperature sensor. Right here you see I have a coolant temperature sensor going into a Holly, or I'm sorry, an Edelbrock Performer RPM intake. And basically this is a, this is part here is the coolant temp sensor and this is going into an adapter. And I wanna just show this because I've seen so many people do this wrong and I gotta show, how you, show you how to do it the right way. So the first thing you need to do is the connector that attaches to it. If you guys have an electrical connector, you need to unplug that. And also make sure that your uh, negative uh, battery terminal is disconnected because you don't wanna throw a short through the ECU while you're doing this. But what you wanna do is start with a dry uh, fitting, dry temp sensor like this. And you wanna pick yourself up some of this stuff here this is Permatex high temperature thread sealant. This is what the tube looks like here. High temperature thread sealant. This is five bucks on Amazon. Definitely pick some of this up while you're getting your coolant temp sensor. But what I basically do here, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can in my position that I'm in. But you're gonna just lay this down. Get some good light here. Lay this down like this. So bring it through. And they don't give you a lot, so be careful. Like that. So you have a little bit here. And then wear some latex gloves and then just take your thumb and move it across all the threads like this. And then go ahead on the back side of where you didn't apply. Do the same thing. Here, bring it down, and then just kind of bring it through. So you basically want to just get that on all the threads, just like that. Okay, nice and neat. And you can wipe up the excess later. But get it on all the threads. Don't use Teflon tape, and don't use um, anything that's not high temp, because this is hot coolant going through here. This stuff could get up to 200 degrees on some engines, uh, even hotter. So make sure you use high temp. And then now, when you thread it in, let me get a clean hand here. You thread it in, I kind of back it off a little bit first, feel the threads and then lightly, ever so slightly twist and it should thread in nice and easy. And then as soon as you start to feel resistance, you stop and get your wrench and bring it in the rest of the way. Remember this is brass, and yes, brass will shear off. And then you're stuck with watching my screw extractor video, which is slash brass plug removal video. But that's how you install it. And then you just, sometimes those brass plugs don't go in all the way, so don't force them. Those brass fittings. Take you a rag, and for a clean install, you wipe up any excess that you have real good and that's how you seal it off so you don't wanna you don't wanna use uh, tape on anything because what the tape does is it can break off inside the engine and it can clog up certain parts it's really essentially you don't use it on anything that is fuel related but it's just a good habit not to use it on any part of your engine if you can so that's the proper way you install a coolant temperature sensor. Uh, it's gonna be the only video I do today, but if you guys uh, haven't seen any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. I'm restoring this 72 Mustang. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I will try to get another video out tomorrow. Thanks for watching.